Hi there, your eights. Uh, here's a little bit of help with some of your homework. Um, so I received some feedback that, that some people wanted some uh, more help with uh, power over power and something to the power of zero. So one of the questions, I think it was 5i, um, said uh, 35 plus 53 to the power of zero. So first you work inside the brackets to figure out what 35 plus 53 is, and that's going to give you 88. And that's the power of zero. Anything in the power of zero is one. Uh, the next one I'll do is 5f. 5f was 3 plus 5 to the power of 0, which is 3 plus anything to the power of 0 is a 1. Um, and another quick one um, that's similar was 9f. 9f was um, 4 times y to the power of 0. It doesn't really look like a 0, so just redraw it. That's better. So 4 times y is 4y to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, so that's uh, a couple of those questions. Let's do power of a power questions. I picked a couple of the trickier ones to do. So trickier ones, uh, 7b was uh, 5 to the power of 2 to the power of 6 times 5 to the power of 3 to the power of 2. So the first thing I do is I deal with the uh, power of power. So remember when you have a uh, power of power, you multiply. So that becomes uh, 5, 2 times 6 times 5, 3 times 2. Uh, if you do, uh, that's 5 to the power of 12, and that's 5 to the power of 6. You can skip um, from this step directly to there. And that's fine because really you can do that in your head. I was just showing you how I got there. The next thing I do is I do 5 to the power of 12 plus 6. Because remember when you multiply, you add the powers. So that becomes 5 to the power of 18. Again, if you want to, you can skip directly uh, to that step from there if you uh, know that in your head. But the answer here would be 5 to the power of 18 would be your final answer, 5 to the power of 18. And at the very, very start, just make sure that your two numbers also have the same base, which allows you to do that work. All right, another one, this one was a little tricky, um, was uh, 3 to the power of 20 over 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 5. So next we say that that's equal to 3 to the power of 20, 3 to the power of 3 times 5. 5, because when you have a power of power, you multiply the powers. 3 to the power of 20 over 3 to the power of 3 times 5 is 15. And then when you divide, um, that means you, when you divide a power of a power with the same base, that means you're allowed to subtract. So that's 3 to the power of 20 minus 15, which equals 3 to the power of 5 is the final answer there. I hope that helps you out with some of the examples. Take care.